Welcome, this is Dark, first of his name, with Dark Nitty Games. We've got some Wilds of a Dream packs to open. I had a whatnot show earl on the, earlier today. This is what's left of that box, so I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little snippet of, you know, what you might be seeing in Wilds of a Dream in this YouTube video. So, let us get in. So, uh, I know a little bit about it. There's a lot of, uh, we're visiting, we're going back to the Plain of El Dream, where we get to see all the fairies and the creatures and stuff that resemble a lot of the old Disney characters we're used to seeing, like the gingerbread, all the, all the old Disney stories. But they're their own little twist. So, in this, we're going to talk, just look at some of the cards. The one thing I do know about this is there's going to be a lot of, a lot more of the cards that you can play one half and you play the other half. I'm trying to remember for some reason I can't think of the name of what they're called. Adventure. Thank you. Adventure cards. That's what it is. Adventure cards. So there's a lot more of that going on in this set. And of course they come with reprints. A lot of the reprints though are going to be in a style called Enchanting Tales. And then within those Enchanting Tales some of those cards can look like anime, anime styled art. Which is I personally particularly like those personally. So, like, here you go. This is one of those Enchanting Tales versions of the card that you can get. And then there's some that'll have a, like, this card, but it'll be an anime style. I mean, this kind of probably does look kind of anime. But once you, if we do happen to find one, you will, you'll see a novel, notable difference. Russ's Bivouac. So, land. Farsight Ritual. Wrinkles Prank. And then, see, here's another one of those Enchanting Tales. Uncommon uncommon and then this is one of the lands they look decent i still don't think they've done anything better than frex lb1 except for like infinity lands but that's just my personal opinion my personal take on that but a lot of people like the set a lot of people have been wanting to come back to this this plane eldraine they had fun with the first time we visited, which I believe was Throne of Eldrain. Let's see. Spiteful Hexmage. Extended art. We got Defense of the Heart and those Jankin Tails. Pollen Shield Hair. Timber Paladin. Gruff triplets, we got ground seal, and Garuk's uprising. That's a decent card. Another full art land. Greta, sweet tooth score. Didn't look at that. That was actually kind of funny. She's like fighting demonic gummy worms. <laughs> stock worm. So yeah, as far as I was oh, just not my camera around. And so it's very interesting, very interesting, very fun looking set. Um, I'm my personal interest is just the anime because I like anime. I watch anime. In fact, since we're on talk of anime, I just finished uh, an anime called Ippo or Hajime no Ippo, which is a boxing anime. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Highly recommended. You should go see it and check it out. Twinning, twinning twins. Say that five times fast. Rest in peace. That's a decent card. Restless Vine Stalk. Okay. Rotisserie Elemental. Regal Bunnicorn. It's a bunny that's a unicorn. Who would have thought, right? Then Grasp of Fate and Nightly Vower are our uncommons and then our land. So yeah, so so far we haven't seen one of the anime ones. There now out of the same box earlier on my sh on my whatnot show, I did pull an anime one. It was a Ristic Study, which I was excited for because Ristic Study is a card I do use, and then to get it in this cool art style made me made me pretty pretty happy. So maybe because this is coming out of that same box, uh, I won't see another one. Because they seem to be kind of the 
chase within the chase, so to speak. Like, they're in the rare slot, but they're rarely in the rare slot, if that makes sense. Alright, get our little token. Raging Battle Mouse, I keep seeing this card, so I'm assuming this is just gonna be fodder. Prismatic Owen. Wow, that's actually pretty strong. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. So play this and you essentially have all colors. That's good. Virtual of Loyalty. Tag Whale Scouring and Questing Druid. Griffin Eerie and Utopia Sprawl with the land. So yeah. So it looks like that's all I have left from uh, from this set. Or at least from that box. Lots of cool stuff. So uh, let me actually let me show you the difference so you guys can understand because I'm pretty sure it's still still out from my show. Uh, let me find it. Yes, I found it. Okay. So this is, like we've seen before, a Enchanting Tales card, right? This is the art style of the Enchanting Tales card. It looks like this. Now, also part of the Enchanting Tales are the anime style. They look like this. This is an anime style card, but it's part of the Enchanting Tales like theme of this set. Come on, focus. There we go. Ristic Study. It looks like it's an anime card. It's like an actual anime drawing picture, and then you have these. So these are cool, but I'm looking for more like these cards. So you can kind of see how they look different. Both are Enchanting Tales, but this is the anime, and then this is the regular. So it's like the rare within the rare, so to speak. But I am looking forward to that. But that's kind of what's in... Throws a drain. That was a leftover from a box that I had opened for a show. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It looks like it's going to be a fun set. It's going to have a lot of adventure cards, uh, a lot of good reprints because they did reprint a lot of stuff. And then, um, as far as them concerned, like this, this looks like this is going to be interesting. Now, the price that they're going for seem pretty, pretty on par for where it should be, actually, in my opinion. Not too wild, not too expensive. Um, I would say if you're looking into getting back into the magic, or you like Eldraine specifically, or you like the art style cards of like the anime style or these enchanting tales, go for it. Like, it's the the value, the value, and that's subjective because some people's value ideas of value will be different. But I think the value, in my opinion, is there. So this is Dark Prism's name with Dark the Games. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my channels. Check me out on Whatnot so you can see my shows live. Follow me on YouTube to get notified whenever I come up with other new videos. And don't forget to check out my Patreon because right now we have for sale the Lost Bundle, which is up for sale right now on my website. For a set of draft packs, a collector pack, along with other goodies are wrapped up in a nice box for you. If you join my Patreon, you get a discount as well as getting a discount from my online store, period. So join my Patreon, get, get, get cool stuff and then get good stuff at a discount. Who does not like discounts? But I want to thank all those who do come and see me on my channel. Uh, this is Dark First's name. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.